What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be doing a production breakdown of my uh, Like Me Better remake. By the way guys, if you haven't listened to my remake, remember to check it out right here on the top left corner here. Let's go. Click on it. I am nowhere close to being a professional producer, so you know, don't believe everything I say. But you know, if it makes sense, then believe it. I don't know. But okay. First of all, I tried to recreate the I Like Me Better synth, and I'm going to let you guys listen to that synth first. So this is the original, so what I came up with wasn't too, I'd say, similar, but, you know, I think it kind of works. I mean, I didn't put, like, my full effort into this. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, it's not really that close, but I would say it's pretty acceptable, okay? Um, if you guys want more of these uh, production breakdown videos, remember to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out a lot. Um, anyways, let's get back right into the video. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I Like Me Better is a song that's pretty, you know, I would say simple, but not simple. Uh, so I came up with these plucks, which are mostly strings, but also did a bit of sound design with this square pluck, which I think sounds really nice and ambient, fills up the atmosphere really well. I put in a lot of reverb on that too. But I didn't put the volume up too high, but I think it sounds really warm, you know what I mean? And it also gives that like a little bass, you know, making some notes kind of low. And it gives that you know lower end frequency, like here. So without the sub bass, it still sounds good. Uh, then comes in the guitar pluck, which I actually took from the stem of the song "I Like Me Better" for like a remix contest. So I didn't actually make this because I'm not very good at playing the guitar. And I have no idea how to make this. I kind of see it phase in, but I just took that from the actual song. So, uh, to progress the song, I put some sub bass here. Uh, so it kind of, you know, builds up to the chorus and like slowly adding some elements inside. Well, okay, this isn't exactly a snare, this is a snap, yeah. Uh, so for the snap, it wasn't actually the original sample. Uh, act the original sample actually did this, and I recorded it on the mic. And basically, uh, how I made this is I put some chorus effects, two chorus effects actually. So it kind of makes that, you know, kind of really quick delay kind of thing. So it sounds like a bunch of people snapping together. And I put a an EQ, and I took away the bottom end because we don't really need that to really give that sharpness and I lowered uh, this because lowered the um, high mid frequencies because it sounded a little I don't know boxy or you know I don't know I don't know what to call it but I like the sound of that and you know it gives that really sharp punch I think Make me better when I'm with you. Alright, so um, now to the chorus, let's listen to that, but with the... So, for the vocal synth, I made my own one, but uh, this one I'm playing right now is the original. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's very similar, but, you know, it's acceptable. I mean, I do have a different voice, and I don't actually have any vocal plugins for my productions. I just use Fruity Overdrive and a bunch of other compression stuff. So, but we'll get to the instrumental part. Uh, let's give it a listen. <laughs>
So, um, for the plucks, it's basically pretty much the same thing. But what I did was nothing, actually. I didn't actually do anything with it. Oh yeah, one thing I did was I added a... Instead of pizzicato, I added a staccato string. Uh, staccato string section like this. So it doesn't have that really hard pluck sound. Uh, and also, you know, added a lot more reverb here. So you can see this automation clip enables the reverb and, you know, kind of fill up that environment a little bit for the chorus because it sounded a little plain at first. Uh, and the sub bass. Well, the sub bass comes with this, like the, the, this is the volume automation. And basically, it's gonna, wait, the bass sounds like this, okay. So it kind of, you know, plays and then kind of goes down in volume because that's how the original song was like. And for the drums, for the drums, yeah. The drums are something really special in this song, I think. Uh, I stacked two snares together to, wait, two kicks at first. And I processed it really heavily to give this ear rapey sound to kind of make it cut through. And I added some soft clipper, so that's like soft distortion, uh, and EQ to, I think, cut it, cut it. We actually didn't do anything with this one. But for this one, the side chain, I added a wave shaper, so it, like, you know, really distort the signal. And, um, a fruity compressor to kind of, I don't know, kind of, you know, keep up the volume a little bit for the whole uh, drum sound. And a limiter to kind of give that sound, you know what I mean? Like, really distort it. And for this one, uh, pretty much the same stuff. Uh, distortion, uh, limiting to get rid of that crunchy drum sound. And uh, for snares, I stacked these two together. Uh, one of them gave this like poof sound. I think it's this one. Wait, this one's the one with the... Yeah, this one's the one with the more mid uh, sounds and this one has more high frequencies and stacked together gives this really nice full sound. And I put together a an open hat with this one. I have no idea why, but I thought it sounded good. And also uh, stacked two hats, which I panned them a little bit to you know make it feel more full or you know wide, like Kylo Ren. But yeah. Uh, so for the vocal synth, um, what it did was all of this stuff. Uh, I don't really know what I did here, but. I just went full cycle and stacked shit up, like, I don't know, stacked a bunch of shit up. Um, if you go to the mixer right here, we actually have, is it this one? No, this one. Vocal synth thing. And I basically sidechained it to, fun well not sidechain, well I sent the signal to a bunch of different channels and I'll route it back here with different effects. So for the first one, oh, my bad. Now this is how the first one sounded like. This is how the second one sounds like. That sounds weird. So this one had very blood overdrive and this one pretty much the same stuff but probably different settings. So I just basically psycho stacked. Yeah this one uh, has a max and a filter so it doesn't sound as crunchy. This one panned left, and this one panned to the right. I have no idea what that is. They all sound a little different. This one sounds like a flute for some reason. But this one has, uh... I'll put OTT on it because that's what makes everything sound better. I have no idea how it works. But... This one with no effects, yeah. I wanted to give it a little bit of natural sound to it. And also this. This is what... It's not really working. 
like this. So all together it sounds like this. I'm not really proud with the uh thing, but you know, I don't know how to fix it and I don't really bother fixing it, so uh yeah. Um anyways, well that's pretty much the whole song and the production of it. <laughs> I actually think it sounded pretty nice when you stack like my vocal synth with the uh, like the original vocal synth. Here's verse two. Oh, all right. Here is verse two. Um, it has a an 808 and some some strings and stuff. <laughs> And you're probably wondering what is this like weird thing sound at the back and what's this bottle thing? Well this is this sound. I don't know really how to explain it but I downloaded this some um, preset thing it's called some music box and I put a lot of reverb on that and it just gave us a really nice sound which is also actually in, in the original track. But it might be a little different, but I think this one's actually pretty well. And it comes in the uh, strings. I don't actually do too much processing on the strings. But yeah, I just did a little bit of panning, reverb stuff, and EQ stuff. No, it didn't really need that much processing because I thought it sounded really good natural. Uh, like, uh, the natural sound sounded really good, and yeah. I like me better when I, I hear basically the same stuff looping back to the front, and yeah. And so we're just gonna skip to the verse now. Stay with me. Stay with me. I like me better when I'm with Um I guess this part wasn't isn't really surprising and you know the final chorus isn't really that much different either. Yep, so that's basically it for my uh, production breakdown. It's not too much, but hope you guys like it. And if you guys want to see a bit more uh, for my productions, remember to leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next. And I might have some original music coming out soon, but yeah. Uh, stay tuned for updates, and I'll see you guys next time.